Hi everyone, Anthony Morganti here. Do you have a cluttered edit in menu in Lightroom Classic? What I'm talking about is if you're in the develop module of Lightroom and you go up to photo and down to edit in, you can see my edit in menu has a choice here like bracketed full name. I have no idea what that is. It also has multiple copies of Denoise, Gigapixel, and Sharpen. I need to get rid of those multiple copies and get rid of this full name. Also, if I click on Perspective Effects, for example, you can see it's showing a resolution of 72. I want that to be higher. In this video, I'm going to show you how you could clean up your Edit In menu and modify any of the plugins that are listed there. At the top, I mentioned the Edit In menu is under the Photo menu in the Develop module of Lightroom. You also could access it, of course, by right-clicking right on the image and going down to Edit In, and there are all those choices. Now, to edit the Edit In menu, you need to go into Lightroom Preferences. On a Mac, it's under the Lightroom Classic menu. On a PC, it's under the Edit menu. Once you open Preferences, the third tab from the left external editing is where you need to be and you'll see down here in the middle additional external editor and if I click on that drop down you can see all those um, external editors are listed here including the multiple copies of the Topaz plugins and that full name uh, let's modify one first I want to keep perspective effects I just want the resolution to be higher than 72 I had a conversation a few years ago with a representative from Epson, and they said if you have an Epson printer, you should try to use a resolution of 360 throughout your workflow. So I just put 360 here. Now just putting 360 here uh, doesn't save it. So if I close this down, right click, or go up to the photo menu and go down to edit in, it will still say 72. So I need to save it. You can see up here it says Perspective Effects and now it says Edited because I put 360 there. Well, we need to save this. So if I click on that drop down again and I go down here, I have two choices. I could either save it as a new preset or update the existing preset. Now I'm going to update the existing preset. I have enough plugins in my Edit In menu that I don't need to add another one. So I'm going to just update the existing one. Now it's updated uh, with that. So if I close this down and I right click, let's say on the image and I go down to edit in and I go over to perspective effects, you'll see now 360 is there and it will always be there. I could have changed anything by the way. I could have changed the file format, the color space, the compression and so on and it would have saved those settings. Now let's go and talk about how we could get rid of some of these things. Uh, let's go back up to preferences and uh, let's go to that first one, this bracketed full name. I have no idea what this is, um, but we need to get rid of this, right? So I want to delete it all together. Step one, I just did. Just, to, you know, access it like I just did. Then go to this drop down again, and then go down to the bottom, delete preset bracketed full name. And it's going to, you know, ask you, are you sure? And of course, we want to get rid of it. It's gone. All right, let's get rid of these doubles of Denoise, Gigapixel, and Sharpen. If I click on this first one, you can see that's the one I saved. See the resolution of 360? So I don't want to delete that one. Let's go to that second one. And that is the version I want to delete. So with this one active now, I go back to this dropdown, and I go to Delete Preset Topaz Denoise AI, and delete that. And then we'll do it for the other two, uh, Gigapixel, that's mine. I don't want to delete that. I want to delete this one, so make it active. Then go down to Delete Preset Gigapixel AI. And then we'll go to the drop down and we'll go to Sharpen. And this is the one I do want to delete, so we'll click there and then go down to Delete Preset Sharpen AI. Now I cleaned up the menu the way I want it. Everything else I want in here, and you may have noticed that, let's say I, um, I go to Luminar 4. Uh, see the resolution's 240, so I want to change that, so I'd make that 360, 
right? And then it's saying edit it up here now, but I just go to this drop down and I save current preset, or no, I want to uh, update the existing preset and it's done. So you could come in and modify these as you see fit, delete the ones you don't want. If you want, um, if for example, you use one of these, let's say you use Analog Effects Pro 2, and sometimes you send it as a certain color space, let's go to it. Like sometimes you send it as, a, as an sRGB color space, but then other times you might wanna send it as a Pro Photo RGB color space. That's when you could go down and save current settings as a new preset. And then if you do that, it's going to ask you to give it a name. Uh, so then you could have, um, you could have two different edit-in choices for the same plugin. I'm just going to cancel out that because I don't want to do that. But that is how you go about doing that. Now we'll get rid of this. Now if I right-click on the image and I go down to edit-in, you could see that my menu is now cleaned up nicely. I got rid of that uh, thing at the top, full name, and I got rid of those duplicate um, copies of the Topaz plugins. Also, if I go up to Photo and down to Edit In, you could see the same thing. It's all cleaned up. It's the same menu. Also, just for being thorough, if I go to the film strip, if I right-click on an image, you could go to Edit In also there. So that's just the three different ways you get to that Edit In menu. So that's it. That's how you clean up your Edit In menu in Lightroom Classic. Thank you, everyone who watches my videos. I really do appreciate it. I'll talk to you guys soon. <laughs>